Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Poly channel. This video I want to share about how to get back your Narkilan gear from Combatant Stone. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle and also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Okay, before that I want to mention about how to get this Narkilan gear, you can follow my previous video about Narkilan gear guide that I show you detail info how to get full set of this Narkilan gear that have similar with duo until 3 black star gear that you can get it by free. And previously, Prabis already update to convert this Narkilan weapon back into box form so you can open it with another class in your family. And after 18 May 2022 maintenance update, once again they just update this Narkilan gear and right now if you do some mistake that process all your Narkilan gear to become combatant stone by accident, you can convert it back your combatant stone back into Narkilan gear. But be notice to do this process, you need to have 7 pieces of your Narkilan gear. And if you accidentally delete your Narkilan gear or your combatant stone, you can send ticket to GM from your original official website to recover your Narkilan gear or combatant stone that you already delete previously. And to get back all your Narkilan gear, you need to process all your Narkilan gear to become spirit first spread and then if you hold this spirit first spread at least one piece on your character you can get special quest from fugar npc special aid by the power of narkilan once more and to finish this quest you just need to hand over seven pieces spirit first spread to fugar npc and you will get back all seven pieces narkilan gear from fugar as you can see this is full set of my narkilan gear but for making this narkilan guide video at first time i just sacrifice my narkilan awakening weapon to convert it to become combatant stone and if you already have this combatant stone you can hitting this combatant stone by simple processing and after wait a while you will get this combatant stone fragment weapon and spirit first spirit one piece from this process and after that because you get this spirit first spirit one piece on your character inventory if you talk to fugar npc fugar will offer you this special quest special aid by power of narkilan once more if you take this quest after you finishing this quest fugar will give you back full set of your narkilan gear either main weapon weapon, sub weapon, awakening weapon, helmet, armor, glove, and shoes. But to finish this quest, you need to hand over 7 pieces Spirit First Breed to Fugar NPC. As you can see, after you take this quest, if you click chat, Fugar will ask you to give him 7 pieces Spirit First Breed. Okay, just process all this Narkilan gear to become Spirit First Breed. You just need to hitting all this Narkilan gear to get 7 pieces Spirit First Breed. As you can see, I just hold 7 pieces Spirit First Breed right now. And if you have this Combatant Stone Fragment, don't throw this item. Actually, you can get this Combatant Stone Fragment Weapon or Armor that I mentioned on my first guide when you process it at Atani spawn with my re NPC and you just need to save your combatant stone fragment weapon and armor that you have in case you want to get combatant stone weapon or armor to upgrade your non seasonal to Fala gear okay let's hand over the spirit first breed to fugar NPC to complete this quest you just need to click chat and hand over seven pieces of this item and you will finish this quest and take back all your narkilan gear and as you can see you will get all this narkilan defense defense gear, 4 pieces, and any narkilan weapon in form of box. And don't worry, this quest from Fugar, special aid by the power of narkilan once more, is repeatable quest that you can do this quest multiple times as long you have spirit for spirit on your character inventory. And once again, I want to remind you, this narkilan gear cannot be wear by seasonal character, so only normal character can use all this narkilan gear, and you can use it for your alternate character in your family. But until now, we only can get this narkilan gear one set per family and then after 18 may 2022 maintenance update they just add new way to get cannon awakening weapon because if you watch my previous video about this narkilan gear guide to get narkilan awakening weapon we need cannon awakening weapon that we only can get it while doing awakening questline and because cannon awakening weapon is low tier weapon mostly we throw that weapon and when I making this video to get cannon awakening weapon I need to create new character and then level it up until level 56 and do awakening questline just to get this cannon awakening weapon and after this update come if you want to get cannon awakening weapon again they already provide weekly quest cannon awakening weapon that you can get it from Tulum NPC at Altinova City as you can see at Altinova City Tulum located at this 
this area on map, but be notice this weekly quest cannon awakening weapon only available if you haven't finished special aid narkilan powerful awakening weapon quest from Fugar NPC. So it's mean if you already finished this quest and have narkilan awakening weapon, Tulum NPC at Altinova will not offer you this weekly quest to get this awakening weapon anymore. And also requirement to get this weekly quest cannon awakening weapon from Tulum NPC at Altinova City. Other than you never finished this special at narkilan powerful awakening weapon, your character also must complete your class awakening questline and that character is non-seasonal character. So this is additional info from my previous video. If you want to get this cannon awakening weapon, you didn't need to create new character as I do on my previous video. And I think after this update come, if you want to convert your narkilan weapon to another class, you didn't need to do this content anymore. You just need to hitting all your narkilan gear to become spirit first spread and give it to Fugar and Fugar will give you full set of your narkilan gear and this narkilan weapon will become in form of box once again. But if you want to process one by one, more faster if you do this conversion process by processing specific narkilan processing stone from any blacksmith NPC following on this video guide. And special thanks to all my membership for direct support via Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership and also my current member, Zekru, Dubiadut, Jimmy Snake, Doki, Renegades X, Angel, Homi, Ayrton, Killsteel, Remy, Cloudy, Munpai BDO, Jan Andres, Token R42, Kaimana, Humeri, Demonite, Cozy, Magnum Sklong, Henry, Populatus, Susu Kental Manis, as gold member, and also all my silver and bronze member. Thank you so much for all your direct support. This will make Chris Poly channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful. And as special thanks, I will put your name on my video, depend on your support level. And be notice for some level, there are have some limit. So make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space. And I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description. Or you can check on top right of this video, I already put card for Patreon link. Okay guys, that's all how to get back your Narkilan gear from Combatant Stone. Hope this video can be useful for you. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update. Thank you for watching. See you next time.